Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3, and it reads of the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world, and this is a uh, second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, <clears throat> it says second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 15 of the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, it says, For the sword and that discretion draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against one another with swords and hands. This is 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16, and it reads, For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings or their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And this is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations were perplexing. And the sea and raised warring. Shalom, one, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Mokar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there, and this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring up. Uh, this uh, video clip that I'm about to show from uh, TR TRT uh, World News, uh, the YouTube channel. As you know, we've been seeing the uh, tensions been taking place over there in the uh, occupied West Bank, over there in the Gaza Script. With the Israel-Palestine situation, tensions are increasing. Even though we are so used to seeing the uh, tensions been increasing between the uh, Palestinians and the Israelis. And this is a uh, video clip that I'm about to show. I believe it was like six people were killed in the uh, West Bank occupied area over there of the uh, rising tensions between the Israeli Defense Force versus the uh, Palestinians. Here we go, video clip. A late night Israeli military raid into Jenin after days of an ongoing crackdown against Palestinian protests. It's left many families grieving after Israeli troops killed civilians. Durham was an unarmed person. He was a civilian. Whoever walks the streets should not be shot just because he's one of our people. The raid took place after a call to protest across the Palestinian territories by Hamas and other groups. That was to show unity against US settlers' incursions into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound a regular flashpoint of violence between Palestinians and Israelis. Israeli security forces allowed the settlers free access while forcing out all Palestinians and denying access to anyone below the age of 50. They've also used force to suppress protests, especially along the fortified border with Gaza. And after the raid in Jeddin, Israel is now using economic sanctions. Every day, 20,000 workers are prevented from entering, and the Beit Hanun crossing is closed to these workers, who have endured the siege of Gaza for 17 years. Workers' losses amount to around $1.5 million every day. Inside Gaza, workers already face severe hardships. About 60% of them live below the poverty line, and the unemployment rate for them is over 50%. Gaza has been under an Israeli blockade since 2007. The flow of people and goods into and out of the territory is severely restricted. And policies in the Palestinian territories have only hardened since. And in recent years include support of illegal Jewish settlements in the territories. Access to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound has also been tightened. For Muslims, Al-Aqsa is the third holiest site, but it's also important to Jews. They call it Temple Mount and say it was the site of two Jewish temples in ancient times. Israel occupied the site in 1967 and formally annexed it in 1980, a move branded as illegal by the international community. UN resolutions also say all new Israeli settlements on Palestinian land are illegal. But Israel has refused to accept decisions like this. And its increasingly right-wing government only hardens its stance towards Palestinians and any display of dissent. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.
that the streets should not be shut.